Hello ladies. I keep always saying ladies, but I keep wondering maybe there are some men that are watching my videos as well. So if there are any, hi there and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is day number four, which is Saturday and uh, I am filming slightly later than I usually do on a working days because I finally had a sleep in and I feel like you can tell that by my mood that I did not wake up with a um, alarm that's the word alarm clock and it was so good and I feel rested and I don't have to work today and I can take the world take my day just slowly and peacefully and I can open my advent calendar with you without the without the without the rush or the thought back in my head that my um, break is about to finish so I was already filming and opening advents uh, on my Lithuanian channel and you know what I did I took the skein apart so it's not gonna be as neat as this should have been when uh, I, I took it out first um, but the Nora George uh, calendar, the yesterday's one, was from the flames. So here it was, it was from the flames. It was from the flames and here was the colorway from yesterday. Number four, we are finally seeing some more color, but there are no speckles. So this is going to be the contrast and I feel that this calendar will be nudish kind of vibe which is very good for my um, sweat uh, for my, I keep saying sweaters jumper from my jumper that I am planning to knit it because I don't have any I have a white um, sweater and I have a blue one sweater jumper jumper so I think this is going to look quite nice and uh, yeah, I never knitted anything brownish or like camel color, so I can't wait to see it develop. So far, um, I keep opening my advent calendars pretty early because there's still no post for day number four. I like how the story is developing. It's such a great uh, idea, and I, I think it it. It must take quite a long time and I do really appreciate when the people you buy your yarns from do uh, put a lot of time in producing it and uh, the Nora George, uh, the story that she's developing, it, it's quite an interesting idea and that's what sold it to me. So um, yeah, a big well done to her and uh, I think there's quite a few of you out there who are opening the same calendar so hope i hope i'm not spoiling anything for you probably because i i yeah I, I shouldn't be because i keep uploading the videos the day after so this is today's colorway now um elder flower stitches today when i was taking it out it hit me that is fourth already and it's 20 days away from Christmas Eve. I really love Christmas Eve and for me I cherish it more than the Christmas day. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I feel like in England for them the Christmas day is it's it's the big Christmas day party and the Christmas roast and uh, opening presents. Um, from my childhood um, and where I'm from which is Lithuania Christmas Eve is the big deal and I remember when my mom met her um, fiance he didn't get it at first he was like we are doing a party before Christmas and we said well but this is Christmas and he was like no it's Christmas Eve so for us um, Christmas Eve is where we gather together and we eat we have this tradition of having such a number of meals and and if you take it further, then there can't be any mayo or any eggs or any like animal products. So there can be fish though, which I mean, I don't know, I don't get it, but fish. We 
when I was little, I always cherished this like Christmas Eve. It's where we also open gifts. So we sit down for this meal. We say a prayer. Um, some people say a prayer. In my family, we're not really religious. So no one really says a prayer. It usually used to be my grandma who just uh, wishes for the health and uh, for a success and for a peaceful year ahead and we thank for the year which we had which is a very special like it's such a special evening and uh, we have a meal and there is this thing that you have to try everyone's uh, every single food that is on the table and um and we just peacefully enjoy a dinner with all of our closest family and friends or the people that are at that table and then the fun begins because we can then open the gifts technically you should wait for Christmas but we never do we just can't be bothered like we are so used to opening the gifts on a Christmas Eve and I think that's what makes Christmas not as special for us anymore because everything is already done and we usually like roast a turkey or a chicken or a duck and we eat and we also have plenty of leftovers from the, the night before and then you kind of eat and you either go do your normal stuff that you usually like to do or I usually sit and knit or you just sit at the table all day and you just keep eating and eating and eating and eating and eating and then you're you're you you know you're just full and you're lazy and you don't want to do anything so i'm sure this year is gonna be exactly the same <laughs> yes but for my i really want to sort of tell my own con my own perspective and my own way of how i see christmas and this is why at the first day i have said that um you know this is i'm going to show you the christmas my way so that's how christmas my way is and um i feel like my children and uh their children hopefully will have the same traditions fingers crossed of course but I'm doing too much rambling in between these advents so elderflower stitches it was much nicer um, and um, but I've taken it apart and showed it to the ladies so today's colorway was Mrs. Claus cocktail party and we had a new stitch marker not stitch marker progress keeper and it was this beautiful cocktail and today I was saying oh maybe I'm gonna go open some goodies but then I found this one and I feel like you know it's Christmas again and this is the colorway uh, which I said unfortunately I have already taken it apart and just quickly pieced it back together so I'm just going to open it again and show you the actual colors so we have some darker tones, we have a floof, and then we have a little bit of fade and darker again. So I, I thought last year's what we had was every three, every three days it changed. I think now I'm starting to guess that maybe this advent will be two days. But will there be that many colors? I don't know. So, yeah, because we had two days of pink and then yesterday we had uh, peach and today we had peach because I, I thought that maybe today will change but today is peach again. So maybe it's every two days, maybe tomorrow will change. I don't know, but we will see. I mean, it's a definitely, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm gonna go twist it up, skein it, not skein it, um, wind it. And um, I'm gonna start knitting. I want to watch some TV at the moment because the house is still empty and need to do some washing Just quite boring. Yeah, so I think that's the plan I'm gonna go put on a washing and while the washing machine is working I'm gonna sit down and watch some food TV shows um, and start knitting and then I'll I'll just join you to show you what exciting things are happening in my life today or quite boring because I'll probably just spend the day at home just resting.
during the day. Today I have done my house cleaning, finally. And I went to Tesco, as you've seen, to buy some fruit. I can't remember the name of it. It's these like orange... Um, I'll show you at some point and I'll tell you. Maybe you can remind me of their name. So I bought the Christmas flower. I was a little worried and skeptical about, about buying it because I heard that they are quite dangerous to pets uh, and especially to cats if they eat them so I will have to do a bit of looking at it to make sure that Ramsey is not eating it and now I'm going to go and make my curd cheese donuts um, I will film how I make them and if anyone uh, to give it a try they are really delicious if you like curd cheese um, I highly recommend it. I'll leave the, um, the recipe down below in the description bar if you want to give it a go. start to boil they do expand so when they turn nice and brown we just take them out of the oil and put the second batch in so my donuts are all boiled or fried I must say now it's just I need to wait for them to cool down and then they will be ready to be served and eaten yeah, yeah. 